It's gone, dog. It's gone, dog. I just killed him, man. Hey, Patrick, you all right? Yeah. <laughs> Eat Prilosec. <laughs> <I'm laughs> Can I do some three lines for me? <laughs> Yo, we're bigger the bigger the bigger the bigger back. What? What? We're bigger the bigger the bigger the bigger the back. What? What? We're bigger the 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 big
like a lot of people will say like I'm an aspiring artist or I'm an aspiring like writer like no like you're, you're a writer yeah like, I hate that you're, yeah, you're an artist that. like if, if, if you're doing that shit every day like that's what you are
just like as soon as wait oh man i think i think one came up wait oh uh, i'm sorry i cut off what you were saying yeah. oh, oh i'm gonna jazz uh, uh. i'm gonna jazz aaron i thought i could play to like a rhythm like all right What am I doing? Keep the cymbals splashy. I don't know. We were talking about jazz. Aaron and Danny both want to talk about the bean thing. Because they love each other. Put Friend that up, Kevin. Friendship. Put that whole thing up. Friendship's more important than competition. Put up, put up Aaron and Danny. Aaron and Danny wins because sometimes. You just gotta look yourself in the mirror and say, hey, I love I love my friend who I'm sitting here on the couch with. Are you putting all this up? You better. Including the words, are you putting all this up? You better. Kevin, forget all that. Aw. Oh.
favorite quotes, and this is it. Watch out for each other. Love everyone and forgive everyone, including yourself. Forgive your anger, forgive your guilt, your shame, your sadness. Embrace and open up your love, your joy, your truth, and most especially, your heart. Fucking Jim Henson, man.
If you're editing this, tell Ryan to fuck off. together and uh we're just playing video games or whatever and uh ah oh, shit yay there it goes there it go and janine uh puts her hand on my leg out of nowhere and she's like dan uh we have a proposition for you and i was like <laughs> go on <laughs>
peace kind of feeling.
As much as I have a dream job now, I have said many times to people who have asked me in person that it takes a long time of like pursuing dreams to kind of like break them, make them come true, you know? They don't always come true, and that's the scary part. I don't believe in destiny, and I don't believe in fate. I just believe in pure will. If you really love doing something and you want to dedicate your life to it, I say go for it. So I guess I'll share my story, which I've never really told before. When I was 18, I got really sick with mono. And I was just laid up uh, for like eight months. Couldn't like really get out of bed and shit. It was my first experience of like real like sadness like over a long period of time. And I guess it was I guess it was depression. But then I noticed like even when I got physically healthier, I was still like really struggling like mentally with a lot of stuff. So um so yeah, I started noticing that like I was just like really sad all the time and really like having a lot of trouble. 
getting out of bed in the morning and like things were things were bothering me. And the short version of the story is I had obsessive compulsive disorder and it was undiagnosed and I didn't really know what it was. Um, like always or just then? See that's the weird thing because OCD is it's hard to separate from like your normal life. It's more just like an, an exaggerated form of what everybody has. How can I describe it? Like if uh, something shitty happened to you and it bothered you, like it, it would bother anybody, but like a quote unquote normal person would get over it in like 20 minutes or whatever, right. but some like for you it would bother you for weeks or whatever, like, so that, that's the best way I can describe it. Um, it, it's just an exacerbated form of like your natural personality, so OCD kind of like feeds on your imagination, so it's different for everybody.
so I like took the did you throw it? I did. I took the pill bottle and fucking threw it in the lake. Yes. Yeah, it was uh, it was like one of the one of the most satisfying like personal moments, I guess. That's super cool. And I've never told anybody that. Everybody has everybody has their things, man. Their catharsis. Yeah, yeah. It's one way or another. I promise we'll get back to talking about like dicks and stuff soon. <laughs> but, I, but I just wanted to share that because like so many people have like opened up to me since I joined the show. And uh Return the favor. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. I, I mean return the favor and also it like made me more comfortable doing it myself. You know? Oh sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's um it was a long time where I was very uncomfortable letting myself out there in the world. guys i hope you have a wonderful day not you dan the audience okay and i hope you all remember to brush your teeth please do if you don't it's important you will get a bad case of gingivitis truth and the plaque will create cavities yep and that's no fun you'll be biting into something and it'll hurt a lot and uh well there's no reversing that <sighs> next time on game grumps <laughs>
Hey, Dan. Hey, Aaron. I'm gonna try to learn how to play an instrument this year. Really? Yeah. I think it's gonna be guitar. So you were just talking about writing music and how to write music, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna try to do that this year. Yeah, just play I mean, I don't think I'm gonna be good at playing guitar in a year, but... That guy got us talking about music, Mark Hollis, his whole thing was feeling is always more important than technique. It doesn't matter if you can play it well, matters if you can connect your emotions to the instrument. I'm sure you can do that. Yeah, I could do that, but it would just sound like someone's laughing the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 there's something, it's just something I love about like going ham on something. I fucking love learning new things. Just being like, I am just dedicating. It's like all, like, all or nothing kind of a lot of discipline yeah it, it, it's tough man it, it's it's forward momentum is a huge thing that's why that don't break the chain thing has always worked for me yeah jerry seinfeld he's one of the most prolific comedians ever and people were asking him how how do you write so many jokes consistently over such a long period of time and he said uh well the way i do it is you write a joke one day and you make a check mark on your calendar and you write a joke the next day and make a check mark on your calendar. And then just don't break the chain. And it sounds overly simple, but it draws your, your attention and puts it on your past successes. And it makes you accountable to the work you've already put in. Rather than thinking about the future and being like, oh god, I have so many jokes to write indefinitely. Because then it feels like a burden. Um, and you won't do it. You'll The human mind will give up. So it's really just really just like changing your perspective a little bit um, and it really helps like I owe it to myself because look at how many thousands of days in a row I've done this you know it, it's just like very uh, I have a road map as opposed to I don't know where this whole thing is going you know what is it what is it called the ha habit the 70,000 forms of habit what the fuck is it called I don't that know. fucking book <laughs> habit 70,000 Forms of Habit or What the Fuck <laughs> by Aaron Hansen. Oh. Uh, yeah. Here, uh, check it out. And if you feel like, if you feel like no one believes in you, I fucking believe in you. There, I said it. So, go out and do that shit that you want to do. And don't let, don't let light, life live you, you know? Like, you fucking... Be proactive and live your life. Because I, I think you only get one. You gotta... I don't know. It's such a sad waste when you, when you see people look back at an advanced age and be like, Oh, I just I should have done this or that. Like, just fucking do it now.
out, and I haven't slept in, in, in a good day and a half. I haven't slept in 46 hours. Guys, I'm really sorry. I love you all. I can't do it anymore. What? I gotta throw in the towel. Like, a lot of people will say, like, I'm an aspiring artist or I'm an aspiring, like, writer. Like, no, like, you're, you're a writer. Yeah, I hate that. You're, you're not. Like, if, if, if you're doing that shit every day, like, that's what you are. Don't be shy about calling your 
yourself an artist. Be fucking proud of that shit because yeah. that's what you are. And you're not you're not anything until you can proudly declare that you are that. that.
What am I doing? Keep the cymbal splashy. I don't know. We were talking about jazz. And They love each other. Put Friend. that up, Kevin. Friendship. Put that whole thing up. Friendship's more important than competition. Put up, put up Aaron and Danny. Aaron and Danny wins because sometimes you just gotta look yourself in the mirror and say, "Hey, I love, I love my friend who I'm sitting here on the couch with." Are you putting all this up? You better. Including the words, "Are you putting all this up?" You better. Kevin, forget all that. Oh. favorite quotes and this is it watch out for each other love everyone and forgive everyone including yourself forgive your anger forgive your guilt your shame your sadness embrace and open up your love your joy your truth and most especially your heart fucking jim henson man.
If you're having a bad time, yep. Either making a let's play, yes, or um, a cartoon or a video or whatever, right? Uh, and then it ends up being unsuccessful. Then who wins? Nobody. But if you
them dearly. Yeah, me too. I miss them so much. I haven't seen them since the dang Backstreet Boys went on tour, but I, no. I hope they know we love them. Did I ever tell you I got invited to an orgy one time? The three of us are on the couch together, and uh, we're just playing video games or whatever. And, uh, ah, shit. Yay! There it goes. There it go. And Janine uh, puts her hand on my leg out of nowhere, and she's like, Dan, uh, we have a proposition for you. And I was like, <laughs> go on. <laughs>
people say that you can just manifest destiny. You can make anything if you want. That's not what that is. There's the two different kinds of happiness. You know, there's the kid happiness where you're just like, I'm happy because everything's awesome yeah. and, and new and interesting. I'm having a great time. Yeah. And, and then there's the other happy, like the light at the end of the tunnel happiness where you're like, I had to go through some shit and like, I earned this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the at peace kind of feeling. As much as I have a dream job now, I have said many times to people who have asked me in person that it takes a long time of like pursuing dreams to kind of like break them, make them come true, you know? And they don't always come true, and that's the scary part. I don't believe in destiny, and I don't believe in fate. I just believe in pure will. If you really love doing something and you want to dedicate your life to it, I say go for it.
So I guess I'll share my story, which I've never really told before. When I was 18, I got really sick with mono. And I was just laid up uh, for like eight months. Couldn't like really get out of bed and shit. It was my first experience of like real like sadness like over a long period of time. And I guess it was I guess it was depression. But then I noticed like even when I got physically healthier, I was still like really struggling like mentally with a lot of stuff. So um so yeah, I started noticing that like I was just like really sad all the time and really like having a lot of trouble um just getting out of bed in the morning and like things were bothering me. The short version of the story is I had obsessive compulsive disorder and it was undiagnosed and I didn't really know what it was. Um, like always or just then? See that's the weird thing because OCD is it's hard to separate from like your normal life. It's more just like a, an exaggerated form of what everybody has. How can I describe it? Like if uh, something shitty happened to you and it bothered you they would bother anybody, but like a quote unquote normal person would get over it in like 20 minutes or whatever, right. but some like for you it would bother you for weeks or whatever, like, so that, that's the best way I can describe it, um, it's just an exacerbated form of like your natural personality, so OCD kind of like feeds on your imagination, so it's different for everybody. I 
said something and he was like, dude, just stop obsessing about that shit. And it was just one of those weird, like, unconscious, like, things. And I just randomly typed in obsession and all these pages on obsessive compulsive disorder came up. Thank you.
everybody. I had a wonderful time. Me too. Love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Not you, Dan, the audience. Okay. And I hope you all remember to brush your teeth. Please do. If you don't, it's important. You will get a bad case of gingivitis. Truth. And the plaque will create cavities. Yep. And that's no fun. You'll be biting into something and it'll hurt a lot. And, uh, well, there's no reversing that. <sighs> Next time on Game Grumps. <laughs>
like a lot of people will say like I'm an aspiring artist or I'm an aspiring like writer like no like you're, you're a writer yeah I hate that you're, you're an artist that. like if, if, if you're doing that shit every day like that's what you are
I'm just like, as soon as, wait, oh man, I think, I think one came up, wait, oh, uh, I'm sorry, I cut off what you were saying, yeah. oh, oh, I'm gonna jazz, uh, uh. I'm gonna jazz, Aaron, I thought I could play through like a rhythm, like, all right. What am I doing? Keep the symbol splashy. I don't know. We were talking about jazz. And Aaron and Danny both want to talk about the bean thing. Because they love each other. Put Friend that up, Kevin. Friendship. Put that whole thing up. Friendship's more important than competition. Put up, put up Aaron and Danny. Aaron and Danny wins because sometimes. You just gotta look yourself in the mirror and say, hey, I love I love my friend who I'm sitting here on the couch with. Are you putting all this up? You better. Including the words, are you putting all this up? You better. Kevin, forget all that. Aw.
It's one of my favorite quotes, and this is it. Watch out for each other. Love everyone and forgive everyone, including yourself. Forgive your anger, forgive your guilt, your shame, your sadness. Embrace and open up your love, your joy, your truth, and most especially, your heart. Fucking Jim Henson, man.
if you're if you're editing this, tell Ryan to fuck off. since the dang Backstreet Boys went on tour, but I I hope they know we love them. Did I ever tell you I got invited to an orgy one time? The three of us are on the couch together, and uh, we're just playing video games or whatever. And, uh, ah, shit. Yay! There it goes, there it go. And Janine uh, puts her hand on my leg out of nowhere, and she's like, Dan, uh, we have a proposition for you. And I was like, <laughs> go on! <laughs>
I try, and everything I try is just like, I, I, and, I, and I just can't. And I, 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 I really do believe in myself, you know? I, I think that I, I, I'm a good person deep down, <laughs> and this, these things shouldn't be happening to me, but they just happen. They keep happening over and over and over. I can't do anything about it. People say that you can just manifest destiny. You can make anything if you want. That's not what that is. There's the two different kinds of happiness. You know, there's the kid happiness where you're just like, I'm happy because everything's awesome yeah. and, and new and interesting. I'm having a great time. Yeah. And, and then there's the other happy, like the light at the end of the tunnel happiness where you're like, I had to go through some shit and like, I earned this. Yeah, 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 the, 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 the at peace kind of feeling.
As much as I have a dream job now, I have said many times to people who have asked me in person that it takes a long time of like pursuing dreams to kind of like break them, make them come true, you know? And they don't always come true, and that's the scary part. I don't believe in destiny, and I don't believe in fate. I just believe in pure will. If you really love doing something and you want to dedicate your life to it, I say go for it. So I guess I'll share my story, which I've never really told before. When I was 18, I got really sick with mono. And I was just laid up uh, for like eight months. Couldn't like really get out of bed and shit. It was my first experience of like real like sadness like over a long period of time. And I guess it was I guess it was depression. But then I noticed like even when I got physically healthier, I was still like really struggling like mentally with a lot of stuff. So um so yeah, I started noticing that like I was just like really sad all the time and really like having a lot of trouble. 
getting out of bed in the morning and like things were things were bothering me. And the short version of the story is I had obsessive compulsive disorder and it was undiagnosed and I didn't really know what it was. Um, like always or just then? See that's the weird thing because OCD is it's hard to separate from like your normal life. It's more just like a, an exaggerated form of what everybody has. How can I describe it? Like if uh, something shitty happened to you and it bothered you, like it, it would bother anybody. But like a quote unquote normal person would get over it in like 20 minutes or whatever. Right. But some like for you it would bother you for weeks or whatever. Like so that that's the best way I can describe. Um, it, it's just an exacerbated form of like your natural personality. So OCD kind of like feeds on your imagination. So it's different for everybody. So I, like, 
like took the, did you throw it? I did. I took the pill bottle and fucking threw it in the lake. Yeah, it was. Oh, it was like one of the one of the most satisfying like personal moments, I guess. That's super cool. And I've never told anybody that. Everybody has. Everybody has their things, man. Catharsis. Yeah, yeah. It's, one way or another. I promise we'll get back to talking about like dicks and stuff soon. <laughs> but, I, but I just wanted to share that because like so many people have like opened up to me since I joined the show. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. I, I mean, return the favor, and also it like made me more comfortable doing it myself. You know? Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's um, it was a long time where I was very uncomfortable letting myself out there in the world. Right. Hope you have a wonderful day. Not you, Dan, the audience. Okay. And I hope you all remember to brush your teeth. Please do. If you don't, it's important. You will get a bad case of gingivitis. Truth. And the plaque will create cavities. Yep. And that's no fun. You'll be biting into something and it'll hurt a lot. And, uh, well, there's no reversing that. <sighs> Next time on Game Grumps. <laughs>